Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Ed. Today we're talking about naked brands and how the stimulus might actually affect this one or actually how it will affect it. Let's jump right into this one. So Naked Brands Group, we talked about this one a few times before. My last video is in the description below and I did talk about the general trends in the market, especially pre-COVID, such as relating to uh, the undergarment, lingeries, etc. that this one does actually uh, tailor to. And so the previous one is in the description below, but today we're looking into mainly two things, the stimulus spendings and the Naked Brands e-commerce update platform. So this is came, came a day after my last video. So currently the balance sheet has $270 million of cash and no debt growth capital available to fund the development of Naked's digital transformation to become an e-commerce leader in intimate apparel market. Prominent finance leader Simon Tripp joined board of directors and bringing significant capital markets and M&A experience. And so they do go ahead and talk, so they say that this additional capital will further transform our balance sheet. Now with over $270 million in cash and no debt, we're strategically positioned to pursue accredited acquisition of high growth and cash flow positive businesses, said the CEO. Our strong balance sheet further solidifies the opportunity to be a conduit for industry consolidation as we seek to invest the next generation of technologies that will enable our customers to access and experience the best brands using the world or first world class technology solutions. And then we're looking into this, this is a very exciting time for e-commerce as COVID-19 pandemic has brought forward a complete digital first environment across all brick and mortar consumers outlet. The acquisition environment is rich with opportunity at attractive valuations. We had already begun working with Justin and his team to identify potential opportunities. Naked is focused on an innovative technologies offering, including a best in class personalized shopping experience utilizing AI and other technologies with uniquely positioned in a disruptive player in the online intimate market. And one of their competitors are raising up actually their outlook for unusual demand, Victoria's Secret. And they're actually going on with uh, the unusual demand, really going on with relaxing off COVID-19 restrictions and the latest round of stimulus checks. So we might actually see naked brands as well, increasing in profits there. And this one here in terms of one of the latest SEC filing goes towards attending uh, the and voting for the annual meeting stuff that's going on. Some of these things aren't really relating to much other than perhaps the bended uh, sale itself, the sale of bended to buyers. And this is just relating towards them diversifying from brick and mortar towards a fully e-commerce platform or a heavily uh, relied on e-commerce platform. In terms of institutional buyers, we see in terms of Marsh, this has been a bit significant input around 20% of the company went towards institutional buyers, specifically Esosa Holdings and Streetville Capital. In terms of just general institutional buyer activity, it's been a bit quiet. Before moving on towards technical analysis, if you would like to see more content like this, make sure to drop a subscribe, leave notifications on. If you'd like to join our Discord server, it's in the description below. There's no commitments, it's totally free. Let's jump right on to technical analysis. So from a technical analysis standpoint, we see that the 30 EMA is currently above 10 SMA, and this is a bearish trading action zone. That's where trouble starts luring around. You needed to break the 107 and stay above there to escape this bearish trading action zone where bearish reversals are likely. Now on the MACD, it's actually crossing the negative sign, indicating either an accumulation or a negative trend. So that's a warning sign. William Personar is sitting there towards highly oversold. So technically a correction in price would result up in green northwards. Now, currently on a one day, things are looking a lot differently. The trading action zone here is a bullish trading action zone and it needs to get in between 88 cents and 77 cents. And if it does so, that is where positive reversals are most likely to happen. And in terms of the MACD, it's going towards the positive side and it's looking really bullish. Now, the last time it did attempt to go towards the positive side, but the market slipped sideways and it tanked with it. So currently we're looking into a bullish reversal to happen in this next week. Moving averages, the Bollinger Bands on the top is 109, on the bottom 65 cents. The moving averages indicates that this one is expected to trade 96 on the top, 87 in the middle and 78 on the bottom. Stochastic fast and stochastic slow. 
are both indicating the possibility that it's currently in accumulation and it tells you to take a quick look into where the support currently lies. So we're going to go for 340 in the top and we see the current support is actually uh, way below. So what we're going to do is decrease it just one more down. And we see the current support technically sits at 56 cents and then 7 cents. Current resistance is 86 cents, 110, 134, 169, 213, and 340. We need to look into just the price line action. We see a significant support sitting at 66 cents. Below there, 55 cents. Below there, 35 cents. Now, significant resistances you're looking into 82 cents. Above there, 88 cents. Above there, you're looking at 105. Above there, you're looking at 119. Above there, you're looking into 152, 185, and then 224. Comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about this one? This is definitely one of an interesting play where they are debt free and they have a lot of cash, a lot better position than where it was in the summer. So I don't see it breaking down back there with their e commerce platform. I think this is going to be one of these plays that people are not going to realize their potential until it's a little bit too late if they do pull it through successfully. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. Have a wonderful day.